All right, we've got six uh, blue spruces to do some root collar excavation on, and this is my first time doing that. I'm gonna walk through. Um, we have an air compressor, we have the air compressor hose, and we have an air spade. Um, I'm just gonna kinda turn the GoPro on and, and show you what I'm doing. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just blast the soil away until you can really see um, root? those root flare. Okay. And for root collars, it's really just a couple inches out, so okay. you don't have to go too far or anything. Okay. So this one's pretty buried. Okay. Um, Where do you tell when it start, starts and stops? Yeah, you can kind of see the root flare. Uh-huh. But even still, it's like, it's in there. Yeah, it's pretty buried. Yeah. Okay, so just go deeper. Yeah, so go a little bit deeper. Um, and this might even be one where you know it'll be easier once some of those roots come out sure and how far are we going out from the tree um really you don't need to go out much further than this okay um if the root flare you know you might want to come a little bit more if you think there's some girdling roots in here okay and then you can just like more as an aesthetic thing blast this away so it's not just straight down okay um so i'll get the back side a little more here too so i'll probably start with that okay and see see how it looks okay um, and also, don't be afraid to be a little rough with this. If you uh -huh. have some dirt or like clay, especially that's real chunked up in there, you can really smack it with the tip of that. Okay. Come through and like trim these roots. Yeah. And just get them off. Like get all these out of here. Okay. And then probably hit it one more time. But yeah. We'll do that in a little bit. So if you want to. Yeah, you want me to start doing this on all of them? Yeah, I can just watch you do okay. that one and make sure you don't have any questions and then yeah. start going crazy. So you like doing it like this? I think that's good. So is it, is it very speed or is it just one speed? Uh, just one speed. Yeah. Oh, okay. See what you're saying. I might do a little bit more, see if you can get past some of those yeah. roots a little bit. Yeah, so 
I think that's really good right there. You just get the whole side like that. I think that'll be perfect. Okay, the other side? Yeah, just kind of the back side a little bit okay. more, but I think you got it unless cool. you got any other questions. Right on. big rock right here that probably doesn't need to be in there Ooh, I'm gonna go get that sawzall so the air spade basically allows us to get down into the root collar of the tree and expose potential issues that it could have in the future like on the last one I just showed you there's a lot of girdling roots that could potentially choke off the tree and have issues later Pardon the hair. So that was my first time running an air spade. Um, on blue spruce, it's kind of where the stuff's all in your way. It's a little annoying, but it's all good. Do you have something with like a pry bar? We're gonna do the roots with another blast and then to just get kind of get a little bit lower and see the root collar and get everything above the root collar that, that we can get. It's kind of cool. This stuff is what I want to learn. So using the air spades kind of sick. There's a look at the material that we got already. How are they looking? Like how's it? Pretty messy. So everything above the root collar? I've got a question whenever you've got a second. Oh, this one here? Yeah. I'd probably leave that one. Okay. Sometimes too, they'll like kind of graft into the okay into the tree and yeah. then it's really hard to remove them and can yeah. damage it. Yeah, I don't want to damage it. Perfect, yeah, I'd cool. call that good, good. Yeah, this one's looking really good. <sighs> Thank you. 
This one actually doesn't look too bad. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Lucked out. I had a lot of fun on this one. There's not a lot of air spade information out there. So I thought I would share my experience with you. We're almost at 2,400 subscribers. I think that's incredible. Thank you for hitting that button. I appreciate it. If you feel inclined, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Uh, we're growing like mad. Um, like I said, there's not a lot of air spade information out there. I didn't want to come out and say, you know, this is how you air spade because I don't even know how to air spade. But if I learn it, I'm going to do my best to put enough information out there so somebody can, can pick up on some of that stuff. Thank you for tuning in on this one. Catch you on the next one. See ya.